The UK is the world's 12th worst country for biodiversity intactness. Across the country, rewilding and reintroduction projects are popping up in a desperate effort to restore our rapidly declining biodiversity. At Kerno Conservation, we have undertaken one such project in the past year to reintroduce the endangered water vole. Down in the south of the UK, nestled in between streams, agricultural fields and a reservoir, lies a tiny pocket of wildlife heaven, Trellisback Farm. A 33-acre ex-agricultural small holding, Trellisback Farm has since become an important conservation site for endangered species such as the marsh fritillary. But recently, Trellisback Farm has become home to another UK endangered species too, the water vole. Once common and widespread across the UK, water voles began declining after the 1930s, when invasive American mink were first introduced to the UK in fur farms and escaped into the wild shortly after. American mink are particularly dangerous to water voles, as they are small enough to fit into water vole burrows, decimating entire populations of young at once. In addition, intensified farming post both world wars resulted in a high level of habitat fragmentation and habitat loss across the countryside, which aided in the water voles' decline. By the 1990s, water voles had disappeared from around 90% of their former range. They were also recorded extinct in Cornwall in the 1990s, and were only reintroduced to North Cornwall in Bude in 2014. Thanks to our project funders Mossy Earth, and in collaboration with the Trellisback Foundation for Wildlife Conservation, we at Kerner Conservation have been able to lead the charge on restoring this endangered species to southern Cornwall, an area in which it was still locally extinct after its decimation in the 1990s. But why are water voles so important? Water voles are often classified as ecosystem engineers due to their grazing and burrowing activities, which create a more diverse plant community and dry out the soil, increasing microbial biomass and activity. It has been shown that in areas without water voles, habitat heterogeneity, the state of being diverse, is decreased, with more dominant plant species, such as grasses, overtaking the rest. Water voles are also an incredibly important food source for native wildlife such as herons, owls and otters. It was in September 2022 that water voles finally made their way back to the southern Cornish countryside, as we undertook our first release at Trellisback Farm. More recently, in June 2023, we undertook our top-up release. More water voles were reintroduced at the site to ensure that there were enough members of the population to breed, as unfortunately, up to 70% of water voles can die over the winter. The water voles were supplied by the Derek Gow Consultancy, brought in pens in a van. Some of the water voles were hard released straight into the water, whilst most were kept in the soft release pens around the site for around a week, to get acclimated to the new environment before being released into the dangerous wilderness. Overall, the reintroduction was a great success, with plenty of evidence that the water vole is thriving and American mink are staying far out of sight. We are extremely happy to have been able to be part of such a journey. After all, the water voles helped us, too. Without them, we wouldn't have been able to get our first large amount of funding from Mossy Earth and our incredible crowdfunder donators, who made us into the organisation we are today. Hopefully, our relationship can continue to be a mutualistic one, as we keep restoring water vole populations across Cornwall so that this lovable rodent is back in ponds, streams and riverbanks across the duchy. Who knows, maybe you will now see a water vole on your next walk across the Cornish countryside. We appreciate your support and our crowdfunder. Thank, Thank you! you.